Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm doing my four year natural hair growth slash length check update video. As usual, I'd like to give you guys updates on how my natural hair journey has been going so far. Um, so in April this year, I turned four years uh, natural. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of a little bit late in doing this update. Um, so, you know, I'm gonna be taking you through some pictures to show you how my hair's progressed you're used to seeing my updates then you'll know how it is um, but I will put a lot of the previous updates and links in the description box you can catch up and kind of see how my journey's been going so far but firstly if you're new to my channel welcome my name is Julie and I share lots of hair care tips and tutorials on my channel so if you haven't really checked out my videos then make sure you do and if you like what you see then definitely subscribe okay so just for those of you who are new to my channel let me quickly recap and just tell you how my journey's been going so far um, so I began transitioning to natural back in October 2015. Um, I transitioned for 18 months before doing the big chop in April 2017. So as I said, I've been natural for, well, it was four years in April, but we're now in June, so four years and two months. Um, but in terms of how much um, hair growth that I have, it's five and a half years of growth because people do ask me that, you know, how old is your hair? So it's five and a half years of growth, but I've been fully natural for four years and two months now. Okay, so let's get through um, to showing you the pictures so you can see how things have been going. Okay guys, so these two pictures are four years different. So on the left, you've got the April 2017 and then on the right, the April 2021. Um, so you can see in the first one, the 2017 picture, I just literally big chopped. Um, and you can see that my hair was literally just by my nose. Whereas the April 2021, my hair is way past my nose, right down by my arm, so armpit length. Um, so you can really see that a lot of progress has been made there. Then moving on to the back shot of my hair as well. Um, again, the April 2017, my hair was just below my shoulders. And then in the April 2021, my hair is past my bra strap, kind of reaching towards mid-back length. So a lot of good progress there as well. And then moving on to the side comparison shots, um, you can see in the April 2017, my hair was literally just by my collarbone. And then in April 2021, it's right down by my bra strap um, again. So you can see a really big difference in the growth there. And then just switching to the other side, exactly the same really. They're literally on par in terms of the length. And then moving on to the high puff shots. So in the April 2017, this was one of my first high puffs that I did and I literally, my hair was so short that I tried my best to kind of really squeeze it into a puff and I loved it, I was happy with how it looked. And then on the April 2021, this is another high puff. As you can see, you know, there is a difference in growth there. My hair was blown out in this one, um, but it's shrunk down quite a lot as well. Um, so yeah, you can see um, a difference there in the um, length in, that, in those two pictures. So moving on to the blowout pictures. So this is a three year comparison um, because I blew out my hair in April 2018 for the first time. Um, and then you've got the April 2021. So you can kind of see, you know, a difference there in growth. You know, my hair in the April 2018 hadn't really reached my shoulders. Whereas in April 2021, it now reaches my shoulders and is actually quite longer. So I'm really happy with the progress that I've made over the four years. Um, you know, I've retained quite a lot of length um, and my hair is healthy, it's thriving, and that's the most important thing because when your hair is healthy, you will eventually see results. Okay, so this is now my six month comparison pictures, just for those of you who watched my update back in October 2020 and is wondering how the last six months has progressed um, up until April 2021. Um, so yet again, looking at the two pictures, um, it's always difficult to kind of measure the growth when you've got a white t-shirt. But if you just look at my chin and you kind of see how far my hair stretches down in both pictures, you can see that I've made um, quite, um, or gained some inches um, in April 2021 in comparison to October 2020. And then moving on to the back shots of my hair in the October 2020, you can see that you know my hair comes just slightly past my bra strap. Whereas in the April 2021, you can see my hair comes further down. So again, I've gained some inches there as well. Then moving on to the left side comparison pictures, um, in October 2020, my hair just came by my armpit, whereas in the October, I'm sorry, the April 2021, my hair comes further down. It's just by my bra strap. And then again, on the right side, exactly the same progress as you've just seen. 
And then moving on to the high puff shots. So in the October 2020, I think I might have had a wash and go. I can't actually remember. And then in the April 2021, I've got a blowout puff. Um, so looking at the two there, I mean, you can't really see, well, I can't really see much of a difference in growth there. Um, but overall, looking at the pictures you've just seen, you can see that I have gained some inches. Um, I'd say roughly that I may have gained between, I don't know, maybe two inches, maybe three. Um, I'm not sure. You guys can be the judge of that. But overall, there has been some progress. So guys, that's my update. Um, I hope you enjoyed, you know, the visuals of how my hair's been progressing. Um, I'm kind of at a stage on my hair journey where I'm kind of, you know, whatever growth I get, I get. If things are not kind of, you know, um, progressing as I want, then it, so be it. Because obviously there's been times in my journey where I felt my hair's kind of, I've retained more length and other times, not so much. Um, but I kind of do these updates for you guys to help to kind of keep you motivated on your hair journey and to let you know that, you know, it's possible to grow our hair, you know, fairly long if that's what you're after. Um, so yeah, it's not so much about me, but obviously I'm still um, showing my journey with you guys. So, you know, I'm always happy with the progress that I make, whether it's a lot or whether it's not, because it's always about, you know, healthy hair for me. I mean, when I started out on my hair journey, what, almost 14 years ago, it was about, you know, growing my hair long because it was something I struggled with but since I've been on this journey for so long and I know how to kind of you know retain length and take care of my hair it's just more about just kind of yeah continuing on that journey of healthy hair care practices um so um yeah this this has been the journey um I'm enjoying the journey and just obviously helping you guys as well and taking you on and helping you on your journeys whilst I'm on mine. Um, as usual, I like to kind of share my hair routine because people do ask me, you know, what do you do to take care of your hair? So this is everything that I've been doing. Um, everything is always pretty much been the same, you know, washing and deep conditioning, moisturizing, scalp massages, and you know, obviously eating well and drinking lots of water is just as important as well. Um, I'd say out of all the things, the only things that have changed slightly is the vitamin tablets, um, I've changed those and also scalp massages. I've been slacking a little bit on that. So I need to get on to, you know, really getting on to doing that as regularly as I usually do, which is every, what, say two to three times a week. Uh, but other than that, everything is the same. Um, so yeah, that's the update. Um, let me know if you've got any questions about anything um, or anything I didn't cover that you'd like to know about. Or if you need any help with your hair as usual, do comment below and let me know what help you need so I can kind of, you know, offer any advice. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please do give it a thumbs up so I know that you did enjoy it. Um, also share it with someone who you think will find it useful. And also don't forget to subscribe as well if you'd like to see more videos from me. And also um, sign up to my mailing list. I'll put the link in the description box um, where you can receive weekly hair care tips to help you on your hair journey. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.